Well, as you can see, I've just gone on the long pole, first cast. It's been an hour since we fed. I just want to have five or ten minutes on it just to see if there's anything out there. We had a good time on the whip, caught quite a few roach, which was surprising. Um, only small roach. I had one about three ounces. Um, I had one bleak uh, and a couple of rud. So it was quite a bit of an eye opener, really, to the different species. I thought that we'd probably just catch bleak or, or nothing. But there's quite a few bites from roach. Only small fish, but again, it's definitely a good way to start, especially as the long pole line looks like it's going to take quite a while to, to happen. I've had seen no bubbles or anything um, on the long pole line. I've had no movements on the float, although it's only been in there a matter of minutes. So it's the case now, I'll give it 10 minutes, and if I don't catch, then I'll probably have another go for roach for 40 minutes, and then have a look. And if I don't catch then on the long pole, I might top up and it's just a case of trial and error. Just seeing if we can find a few things out that can just stand us in good stead. Little things that are gonna make you speed up during the match. If you feed and you catch straight away in practice, you might well feed earlier in the match and start catching earlier. It's just little things like that that can make a big difference. But if I don't get any indications in the next 10 minutes on the long pole, I should just leave it for another half hour and have another go on the whip, just to see if there's any bleak moved up. I've stopped feeding it on purpose, just to see if any bleak and that come up, follow the cloud up. As you can see fishing the long pole, I've got a front rest in. Not only does this make it easier when you're actually waiting quite a while for a bite, but also, and probably the most important thing, you can hold your float dead still. When you're fishing for an odd skimmer, an odd bream, or just an odd quality fish, whatever it is, it's very important to hold your float dead still. If you're holding it with your hands, you tend to vary where it's going down your peg. It might drift in, might drift out, might go down your peg. But with a front rest, it's locked in, it's dead still, perfect presentation for an odd big fish.